now we've got Dr. Reed Stevens here, local vet, talking about pet health insurance and where you should go for that. Dustin Yerman is back with Puffy, who is our most adoptable uh, little guy of the week over at our Buffalo Animal Shelter. So hi, Dustin, how are you? I'm very good. Puffy, is Puffy a puppy? No, he's a, just a smaller breed dog. Mm -hmm. He's probably about two years old. He came in as a stray. He was found running the streets with um, two other dogs that just looked looked just like him, uh -huh. but nobody ever came for them. They've both been adopted, so it's just him left. So uh, how old do, do we he's think? He's about two. He's about two. Yeah. He's oh. a little on the shy side, as mm -hmm. you can probably see, but he's not at all nippy or bitey. Just a, just a quiet guy, a little, you know, overwhelmed by his circumstances. Yeah. So once in a home, he'll really block. He's really anyway. ready for his luck to change. Exactly. And it changed already by going to the shelter because yes. he's getting three squares, right, yep, and yep. medical attention. Yep. And lots of people looking at and him. And lots of exactly. people checking him out. Take a look at how cute he is. He'd be just perfect uh, for he's this coming season. He's a really unique season. looking dog too. Yeah, he is. He yeah. is. What do you he think? He knows, the, he knows where the camera is. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a very smart he's dog. He's incredible. All right, Dr. Stevens is here to talk about pet health insurance because if this is something you're looking at, if you have a dog in the family, this might be really something great to get. But you got to get the right policy. Absolutely, right. absolutely. You know, 35% of people in England have pet insurance. Wow. 10% of people in Canada have pet insurance. Less than 1% of people in the United States mm. have pet insurance for their pet. As veterinarians, we would love to have people have pet insurance because so many times we see those heartbreaking cases where they want to do the best for their pet and they just can't afford it because that bill is out of reach. Mm -hmm. uh, and pet insurance can fill that gap. Can you get pet insurance at any point in the pet's life or should you get it early? You, you actually can get pet insurance in any life. There are, a number of different, there are a number of different policies out there. You know, pet insurance has been around for over 100 years. I did not know that. But it hasn't caught on to the mainstream. Um, there are, you can get pet insurance at any time in their life, but it is less expensive the earlier you get because pre-existing conditions, just like people, um, mm. play a role. Do you pay for it every month or do you just buy the policy? It is a monthly charge. It's a monthly it's charge. It's a monthly charge. So think about it as paying, um, uh, a, well, a monthly insurance fee uh, for any kind of insurance that you mm -hmm. might have for your car insurance or your home. Um, it covers, and I, very important, there's lots of different policies out there. I really encourage people to get policies that will cover the things they expect to mm -hmm. spend money on. Mm -hmm. um, you don't expect to pay your car insurance to pay for your gas, t tires, and oil. Right. Don't expect your pet insurance to pay for uh, flea control, vaccines, regular healthy visits. You want major medical. Mm -hmm. You want when that bill gets between a thousand and three thousand dollars, or maybe five hundred and and and, and three thousand dollars. Been that, there, done that. Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> and that's exactly where people need help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and again, to get the best one for you, the doctor recommends PetInsuranceReview.com. PetInsuranceReview.com. That will link you into a number of different great providers. The ones I tend to like are Trupanion, Embrace, and there are a couple of others. Even the pet, every time you adopt from the SBCA, they, they, it comes with 30 days free of insurance. Anytime you go to a veterinarian, they'll give you 30 days free of insurance oh, to try out. Um, does, the pet does the pet shelter have free insurance for the first 30 I days? I don't believe they do. Yeah, okay, yeah. So just you one, but you can, get it, you can get it at your veterinarian. Do you get an, a policy um, specific to your breed? No, um, the, the, the rates change mm -hmm. by age, zip code, and breed. Interesting. Yeah. Because I mean, certain breeds might have more issues. An English oh. bulldog is going right. to run you more than, right. than, than, than a the mixed breed. Puffy than, than Puffy. Right. Puffy will be a very inexpensive. Right. So there you go. Usually oh, it runs somewhere between, for cats and dogs, somewhere between uh, 25 to $55 a month. Now, you know, it's interesting you should say that vets look forward to people who come in and have pet insurance because I wasn't sure how vets felt about that. So it, it's a, one of the wonderful things about the veterinary health care is that um, it's, it's, we don't get involved with the insurance companies. Mm -hmm. The client pays us, and then the insurance company reimburses the client. Um, the best insurance companies don't tell the veterinarian how much to charge for a process like they do in human health care. Mm -hmm. In, in the, the best insurance companies that, that pay 90% of whatever the, whatever the vet bill is. Hmm. And some vets use so much of it that they're actually pay, they do pay the vet directly, and you end up only paying 
Wow. Of a three thousand dollar bill, wouldn't and that again, be great? And again, the doctor mm -hmm. recommends going to this site, PetInsuranceReview.com. You say they do the best job. They, they will reach out to three or four or five different companies. Um, they'll talk to you, uh, and then, then 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 you will get a number of emails. So be careful which email you give them. Um, you may want to give your main email, but give them an email that you'll get a number of different offers for your pet. It'll be specific to your pet, and you'll know exactly how much it would cost. Thank you, doctor. That was really interesting. Dr. Reed Stevens, and again, it's PetInsuranceReview.com. And Dustin Puffy is awaiting a wonderful new owner who loves him over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Fantastic. Puffy is adorable. He's about two years old. And um, you, of course, you have other animals there, too, waiting yep. for that uh, permanent All forever home. Sizes. All shapes and sizes. So come on down. And to the shelter. Cats too, and kittens. Still cats and kittens as Kitten well. Season has been a really long season. Mm -hmm. still going. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Buffalo Animal Shelter, everybody. Listen, we want to thank everybody, especially the Niagara Frontier Society, for making sure wonderful vets like Dr. Reed Stevens can get here on AM Buffalo. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs>